I rarely use this channel or, or even my personal life to pontificate about my faith as it's the kind of thing that, well, let's put it in the most colloquial English, it does people's heads in. However, I am going to share a few minutes of my thoughts on that. You can all run away now, as as you, as you do when the Jehovah's Witnesses knock on the door. Um, and let's get rid of that screen again. This is one of my own favourite personal quotes from the early church fathers, from St. John Chrysotome. Um, there may be some people familiar with him for other reasons, which we might come back to in a minute, but in any case... If you cannot find Christ in the beggar at the church door, you will not find him in the chalice. For me, that's one of the central points of Christianity, that no one for, is too low to enter the church, and no one is too low to be deserving of mercy or politeness or friendship. If you can't do that, and you can't honestly offer friendship to anyone, from the homeless to the leper to the person in great need, then... Perhaps you may think need to think again about what you mean by the term Christianity. And you may need to go and open the New Testament and have a quick whiz through it and notice who Christ is hanging about with. They're the socially excluded. You have a tax collector. He gives aid and comfort to a Samaritan. People, uh, people who are virtually outcasts at that point. A woman take, who is accused of adultery. He is not coming to heal those who are already sinless because what would be the point you don't need a hospital for the healthy you need a hospital for the sick and that's the whole point of christianity it's supposed to help people through their various trials and tribulations and help them grow spiritually now as i said i don't really go on about my own faith a lot because i don't particularly love those who do because they often end up becoming playing symbols there are some people who have the gift of communicating that without doing it, but they're few and far between. However, walking around London over the last few days, the amount of homeless people it disturbs me. It's becoming disturbingly real how many homeless people there are, and back in Ireland where there are thousands of people now homeless and it's becoming a major crisis situation. I cannot believe we are sitting here in the 21st century I'm nearly a quarter of the way through it, and when I walk around London's West End, I'm constantly encountering tent cities and young kids who are basically squabbling with each other over a sandwich from Costa Coffee or whatever. This is a disgrace to our country. There are no other words for it. This is a disgrace to us as a human humans. It's a disgrace that we've allowed matters to get there, and we all share some of the blame. But the, we need to move on from it and find some way to move to a better society. It's not for me to suggest the solutions to that, but as we come towards Christmas, instead of us all looking up at who's going to get the, the Xbox and who's going to get the, the Nintendo Switch and so forth, it might be a good moment for us to stop and think, who's going to get the sandwich so they can go on and live for the next day because they have the real pressing need.